Hey, I'm P.O. from Ratings.com. Even with 2023 behind us on the calendar, we haven't left the TVs behind. Today, we'll look at two popular 2023 models, the iSense U8K and the TCL QM8. These are competing models that dominated the mid-range market in 2023, and with newer releases coming out later this year, there's a good chance you'll see these guys on sale. So it's worth knowing which is better for your needs and your wallet. To start, each TV is available in similar sizes, from 65 up to nearly 100 inches. But the iSense is also available in a 55-inch size, which isn't the case with the TCL. However, the 75-inch model of the iSense uses an ADS Pro panel, so it has a worse contrast but a wider viewing angle than the other sizes. We'll get into all the details of the picture quality and performance soon, but let's start with the simple things, like the design. Both TVs are mainly plastic with some metal accents. They each have a built-in subwoofer on the back, but there are some differences with their stands. The iSense comes with two feet, which you can adjust from a wide position to a narrow position. The screen is high enough off the table that placing a soundbar in front won't block it. On the other end, the TCL has a center-mounted stand, and the screen is pretty close to the table, so putting a soundbar in front can block part of your view. The inputs are similar on both with four HDMI ports, and each TV has two HDMI 2.1 inputs. The iSense has some advantages because it has an ATSC 3.0 tuner, so you can wash over-the-air channels in 4K, which you cannot do with a TCL. The eARC support on the iSense can also pass through 7.1 audio and bitstream, while the TCL is limited to stereo. On the topic of sound, the iSense has an advantage because it produces better bass and sounds more well-balanced. That said, like any TV, the sound isn't anything special, so you need a proper sound setup for the best experience possible. Besides that, they each come with the Google TV interface, but the iSense comes with version 12, while the TCL comes with version 11. This really doesn't make a big difference besides some design changes, and you get the same user-friendly interface on each. Now, let's look at the fun stuff, the picture quality. We'll start with the contrast, which is simply incredible for both TVs. The local dimming on the iSense is just a bit better, enough to provide deeper blacks and dark scenes. That said, each TV has minimal blooming with local dimming on, so any bright object on the screen doesn't cause the black levels to raise too much. They're both fantastic choices for watching content in dark rooms. If you like to watch content in really bright rooms though, this is where the TCL has an advantage. Although the iSense is bright, the TCL is just so much brighter that any glare isn't a challenge. You can even place it opposite a sunny window and see what you're watching properly. The TCL is also brighter in HDR. However, the difference isn't as big and the iSense gets very bright too. This means both TVs make highlights pop against the rest of the image. They just might be more poppy on the TCL. One area where the iSense has an advantage is color accuracy in SDR it has much better accuracy than the TCL before any sort of calibration. So if you want great accuracy on the TCL, you'll have to pay more to calibrate it fully. While they both display a wide range of colors, even in HDR, the iSense is still a bit more accurate. It has fewer tone mapping issues, so images look realistic no matter the content you watch. All this talk about picture quality doesn't mean much without a good processor. That's where there's a bigger difference between them as the iSense has a better overall processor. To start, it delivers a more accurate image in HDR thanks to its better PQE-UTF tracking. Even though it isn't perfect, it displays content closer to the creator's intent than on a TCL, which completely overbrightens most HDR content and crushes details in dark scenes. Another area where the iSense is better is upscaling. This is especially important if you like watching lower resolution content, like from DVD players or cable boxes. The TCL really struggles with this and loses out on details. The iSense is much better, and the overall image just looks cleaner. The same can be said if you watch low-quality content, like from streaming apps that use heavy compression. The iSense is much better at keeping details in this type of content, but the TCL is actually better at avoiding any distracting macro blocking. The processing on the TCL isn't all bad, though. It's actually better at gradient handling. This is good for watching HDR content with scenes that have shades of similar colors, like a beautiful sunset. It has less bending in those scenes, especially with darker colors. If you're looking for a gaming TV, this is where subtle differences between the TVs can get interesting. 
each as a max refresh rate of 144Hz with a 4K resolution, and you can get an even higher 240Hz refresh rate with a 1080p resolution on both. However, both have issues with 240Hz signals. For example, the iSense doesn't support it with VRR enabled, and it doesn't work on a TCL with NVIDIA graphics cards. Basically, if you want a 240Hz display, it's better to get a gaming monitor. If you do want one of these TVs to use as a PC monitor, the iSense has a slight advantage. This is because it supports proper Chroma 444 with 4K signals up to 144Hz in game mode. So it delivers sharp text with low input lag, which is ideal for PC gaming. The TCL still supports Chroma 444, but only up to 60Hz, and the input lag is higher. Keeping with gaming, the TCL has a faster response time for better motion in 4K at fixed 60Hz signals. But both TVs have some weird quirks with the response time with VRR enabled. Depending on the refresh rate, they each have overshoot. For example, there's noticeable overshoot on a TCL with refresh rates of around 75Hz and 144Hz, which is a problem if your games maintain those refresh rates. On the other hand, the iSense has overshoot with refresh rates above 100Hz, so there's no clear winner between these two. Most of these problems happen when you connect a PC. If you just use a console, you'll be happy to know that they can both take full advantage of the PS5 and Xbox Series X with 4K games up to 120Hz. Now, this brings us to the main question. Which TV should you buy? For most people, the answer is the iSense. It's more polished overall, especially when it comes to processing. This makes it the better choice if you watch low resolution content from cable boxes or occasionally dust off that old DVD player. The iSense also delivers more accurate colors, which is nice if you want lifelike images without paying extra for a full calibration. The TCL has an advantage if you want the brightest TV possible. It's one of the brightest TVs we've tested, and combined with its fantastic reflection handling, glare isn't an issue in bright rooms. In terms of gaming, they're both excellent options with similar performance. But because they each have their unique issues, you may want to consider something else if you want a TV for PC gaming. If that's the case, something like the Samsung QN90C is more reliable for 4K gaming with a PC, and its smaller variants support a 144Hz refresh rate. That said, it costs more than either TV, and it has a worse contrast, so really, only consider it if you think the bugs on the iSense and TCL would bother you. Well, that's all for the comparison between the iSense U8K and the TCL QM8. If you want to learn more, check out the full reviews on our website. We also have a comparison tool for all the finer details. The link are in the description below. Until next time, I'm Pio from Ratings.com, where we help you find the best product for your needs. The iSense has an advantage because it produces better Oh, <laughs> I was almost said bass. Because it produces better bass. <laughs> bass, 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 bass. All right. I remember the last time when I with the video, he said, the bass is a fish. He said, the fish. <laughs> Yeah.